Now on this board, we've just got lots of switches and we can use the leads to have a bit of a play and practice using them. This is how it works. We've got the negative of the supply here and the positive goes through these two LED bulbs. So if we connect them up, the lights will come on. But rather than just connect them direct, we're going to connect them via some switches. So I've got a push to make. That means it's a momentary switch. It means it'll only be on when we press it. And if I connect it up like that and press it, then you can see the red light coming on. If I want to wire two of them up in series, I can do it like this because we've got two of these push to make. And now it's only when I press both down that the red light's coming on. If I want to wire them up in parallel, then what I need to do is to plug that one in there. So the ground is going to this switch and now that switch as well. And I need to connect the other sides of the switches together. Let's use a different colored lead. So now if I press either of these two switches, that light's coming on because they're wired in parallel. Let's just unplug all of those. Here we've got a push to break and that means that the switch is normally connected and it's only when we press it that it's broken. And we can see that by wiring it up like this, it's on. When I press it, it's stopped. And they use this in things like cupboard doors. So when the door is closed, the light is off. When you open the cupboard door, the light goes on. Here's a, a micro switch, which again is used in situations like doors, but this time we have to press it and it will connect. We've got rockers underneath. I've got two examples here. This one locks, so we rock it across and it stays in that position. So it's not a momentary switch, it's a locked switch. And this one here, we've got one where we've got two options. We can rock it either way. So if I do it like that, if I rock it one way, I've got the red light coming on. And if I rock it the other way, I've got the green light coming on. I think you get the idea. Now these toggle switches at the bottom, and it really is worth trying to get these names into your head because you'll see these abbreviations all over the place. We've got here single pole, single throw. And that means it's just a very, very simple switch on its own. And we've stuck with the convention on all of these boards of up being on. So if we connect that up, when I throw that switch, the green light's coming on. When I turn the switch off, the green light goes off. This one here, single pole, the pole means single switch. Double throw, the throw is the number of options. So I've got a single switch, single pole, two options, two being double, throw. So if I connect it up like that, then we've got, when the switch is down, we've got this green lead leading to the red light. I switch it up, it's switching across to this yellow one and the light here. This one here, double pole, double throw, is two of these switches. So I hope that gives you an introduction to push switches, rocker switches, micro switches, and toggle switches.